Horizonja Swamsi reacts on this is why the rings of power was a total failure featuring nerdrotic watch all unsubscribe clips unsubscribe podcast yeah watch our DEI uh, yeah DEI right DEI clip uh, from this uh, channel uh, from nerdrotic uh, who was on the podcast and that surprised me really uh, I didn't know about the details of all the shit that is happening people told me in the comments what DEI stands for and it's just like Look, I, uh, I feel like I'm very realist, right? Even the ridiculous things, if it's happening, I'm like, yeah, I can see human psychology behind it. And sure, I understand it. But shit like this is like, how is this even possible? You know, capitalism, Hollywood. People like can say about Hollywood all they want, but when you really scientifically see it, it's been here for like long, you know, for longer than century. Like Oscars, like, uh, you know, look at how long the Oscars has been running, right? Hollywood is that old. And the producers and the studios, who's there just to make money? Capitalism, that's their whole thing, like making money. How can somebody like that not realize that this is just stupid? In order to make money, this shit is not going to work. Right? How are they like, oh, fine, okay, I guess I'm going to uh, allow this kind of ideology here, right? This kind of politics I'm going to allow here, even though it might alienate a lot of people, it might not make money, fine. Just because I might be a bit scared of, Twitter or some shit, which like if you see all the like how many people are in what social media, Twitter doesn't even have that many users. So somehow Twitter has that kind of power. Like okay, it, it's just stupendous to me, right? And uh, that video was just insane that I watched like I just a day or two ago, I think two three days ago, right? And the the whole thing about that like you know like uh, ring of power and like Disney and the shit. I heard about this like and also like, in video game, right? I'm a big video game guy. And, uh, you know, the, the, the video game company that people told me in the comments, right? What is it? Sweet Baby Inc. or something, some shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, that is the one, right? Who's like CEO going out like just TED Talk, right? Just telling people, oh, by the way, panic people. Make, make them fear you to get your thing done. It's just like point of blank without any shame. Like, really? Really? It's like being blatant like that. It's like swindlers, like those scammers. Point blank giving TED Talk. Like, this is your job, this is what you do, you scam people, just point blank do that. Like, do you, you know, what is the morality behind it? It's like, you have to be so sure, like, what you're doing is so right that any means necessary is fine. Th that's the scary part here. So let's waste one. So is your favorite film series Lord of the Rings? Yes. No, he hates it, dude. No. All that right. is, oh, okay. So that, <laughs> Cody's like, you So despise. what did you think of Rings of Power? That's then? what I was about to say. Rings of Power was <laughs> shit. Uh, and <laughs> I knew it would be shit. It was funny how it played out because once we heard that they were making, when I first heard it, I'm like, cool, second age, right on. And then I heard that they didn't have the rights to the Silmarillion. So I don't know how yeah. the hell you were going to do it. And then I found out they had the rights to the appendices. Then we found out, and this is years ahead. That oh, the books. So the Rings of Power only had rights about certain part of the books they can use. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so Lord of the Rings movies, were they bad? Because I remember like, okay, good. But then again, like, I don't know the books, actual source, right? I guess I heard of the lore here and there in some YouTube channel who talks about Tolkien lore. But I don't know. I don't know if I watched that trilogy again, would I like that or not. But I don't know, it was fine, right? Original Lord of the Rings movies. But I guess people who knows the books might hate it. Because I know a bit of lore about The Witcher, right? Books and things, and I know the video games. So when I saw the show the earlier season, I'm like, it's fine, but I don't know, man. Something's really off, right? And the last season's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Right? So I guess it's similar to that. So, you know, the people who like is really Tolkien fans, comment down, like, is the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, is that bad? Is that so far off the source that it's just bad? I don't know. Years. Um, bad reboot. They're from Bad Robot. J.J. Uh, Abrams, I won't go down that. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible organization. <laughs> they <reboot>. suck. Uh, <laughs> they screwed up Star Wars. They screwed up Star Trek. And now they're offshoots. People like who weren't even good enough to work there took over the Rings of Power. Uh, the guys who run the Rings of Power wrote half of a bad Star Trek script, Star Trek Beyond. You remember that movie? Yeah. I hated it. Um, Is yeah. it th that was the third one? That was the third one. The no new reboots of Star Trek. I thought it was two movies, but then it's like, is it three? Like, I lost track. Like, first Star Trek movie, I think I watched it. Like, the newer version of it, like, 21st century version of it. But it's been like two, three movies since then, right? They, they doctored a bit of that script. So they were given, uh, they were put in charge of the most expensive TV show of all time, and... 
to adapt the greatest story ever written. And uh, yeah, we just started clowning it because once I heard that, I'm like, well, we've seen uh, intersectional feminism in Star Trek and in Star Wars and Marvel and just about everything. So I wouldn't be surprised if Galadriel was like all in armor and slaying orcs like she's cutting through butter. And then sure as shit, it. that's <laughs> what they shit, did. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and like they watch your segment you probably yeah <laughs> oh my god it was terrible i can't even get in that like look i said in the di video that is wonder woman movie right love that right there's many other like places that you can draw from to make a warrior-esque feminine feminism type movie don't change the things that's already there just in the name of feminism that's just weird i'm all for feminism right it, it, i guess it makes sense but you're not going to go into Derby and like have some like uh, female wrestler like beat the shit out of like Brock Lesnar or The Undertaker. That doesn't make sense, right? It's like th there is like real scientific biological element behind it. I've seen certain videos like some woman li literally start crying when somebody said like physically, biologically, right? Scientifically, men are more stronger than women. And she just said, no, that's not true. Started crying. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That's science. It's not about your feelings or any ideology. That's, that's what it is, right? right? It, it, it's like saying a bear is more stronger than the dog. I guess it's not the right you know, like, uh, uh, analogy, but still, it's, it's just scientific. What it is, what it is, right? So it's just weird. Like, and it's not even that. Like, this is fantasy. Okay, fine. But in the original movies and things, even in the book, she was a very stoic character. And in this one, I, I, you know, when I watched it, I'm seriously like, okay, was, was she supposed to be like that? Because it feels very weird. What, she was like that and something happened and she just became this stoic character that we see? Because this just feels weird. They had instances where she swam across the ocean in the middle of the ocean. She just runs into Sauron on a raft. It's just, it, it's the dumbest thing ever. If you don't understand the story. Wait a minute, that guy's Sauron? That guy she met, I didn't watch the whole season of it. Like I said, I just saw the first two episodes. So that guy, she meets some guy with whatever pouch or something that he had. I don't know, was it some medallion or whatever? He saw it on, come on. Source material, it's hard to explain. But I um, think The Last Jedi, but a thousand times worse. That's, that's what it was. And, uh, and you have good source. Like, the Tolkien family was like, no, you can't fucking touch this. Thank God. Th there's certain stuff that they couldn't, like, part of the Tolkien family sold them out but they said you can only do the appendices so that's it's like this much of the book at the end it's like that much of the book they're adapting and uh the worst part about it was like subverting everything tolkien believed tolkien was a devout catholic this is a christian work i'm not even christian i'm saying this but it has tons of themes yeah and it's also not fantasy it's it's written as a as a faux mythology that uh tolkien felt you know, the, the England was robbed of because they were yeah. uh, and they lost a lot of their oral tradition and everything through, you know, all being conquered a lot. Wait a minute. Did, miss, did Tolkien write this as some, like, oh, certain people write mythology, but like maybe this was real type of thing? Like, that's how England was. Is that what he's saying? I just mean, I didn't understand what he just said. Like, is Tolkien wrote, like, yeah, obviously England's a lot of like, uh, so, you know, like history is completely like this. That's why this dark ages between that, right? Like, what is it like? Uh, what, eighth century before or some shit like that? Eight to eleventh century, and even before that, right? There's something around eight, ninth century people know about. There's movies about that and shows about that. I guess what is it, Last Kingdom or something, right? Which is like around eight, ninth century, right? With Vikings and shit. But yeah, before that, it's just like barely people know anything. So Tolkien, mythologically wise, tried to implement that. Is that what that was? Maybe they shouldn't have been conquered so much, but um, <laughs> so the way it goes. And uh, it, it uh, didn't look very authentic. We had uh, we had uh, uh, elves of color. We had hobbits of color. And the we irony of that, considering yes. the original intent behind the the Tolkien and everything like that, it's it goes back to South Park. Make it, it really gay does. and lame. <laughs> yes. Put a chick in it and make it gay. Make it fucking lame. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds like lame. lame. It's my favorite part. No, it's it's frustrating because I, I can't go down the rabbit hole on this. It would take too long to explain. But uh, Tolkien accounted for other races in his world. Like, it's there. But they flipped them on its head so they can just have, oh, we want to have, because, you know, people, everybody now needs to see themselves in everything. 
You know, like I can't watch Buffy anymore because I've never been a teenage vampire slayer. So <laughs> I can't identify with her, obviously. Uh, I can't watch Angel. I've never been a vampire. So we have to see ourselves and everything. It's like super. Of course, I was Buffy when I was a kid. No way I was after that. Definitely that. Shut up. Super narcissistic and it, take, and it kills imagination. Uh, and they could have had uh, any race they wanted into. They, they decided to flip it on its head. And on top of all that, you could, as a Tolkien fan, you could tell what they didn't have rights to. So they had the, you know, they couldn't could say hobbits. What? They could, you can't say the word hobbits in there. Uh, so uh, you gotta say Haba. No, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're gonna say Haba with Hobbits. a hard T. They, they couldn't <laughs> use Gandalf, so they had Gandalf in it. They had Gandalf in it, but they didn't call him Gandalf. So that Is stranger, he just the wizard. Oh, he's what? he's called the stranger because they don't have rights to the. To Yo, the, it's the Gray. What's up, Gray? So high five. Uh, Warner Brothers still has the rights because so instead of the Hob Hobbits, they're called the Harfoots, which is a breed of Hobbit. But it's still a hobbit, but they're calling them the Harfoots, who are the worst people ever, by the way. They have a whole speech on how uh, they, they travel, they're, they, they migrate, you know, they're, they're nomads. They like eagles. And, and if anybody, yeah, if anybody. They're like gypsies. <laughs> they're like gypsies. Mexicans. And if you fall behind, you're screwed. <laughs> if you sprain your ankle, they're not going to stop for you. They're just going to leave you to die. <laughs> it's really messed up and stupid. Mm. Uh, okay, I didn't. Uh, so I, did they just created Harfords? Is it like part of the Lord of the Rings? Because I don't know, man. That's just fucked up. So that guy is Gandalf. I'm pretty sure like I've seen some news, you know, like video titles saying like, oh, by the way, in season two, clearly that guy is Gandalf. So they didn't come out and say that's Gandalf because they, didn't have the, they don't have the rights. So people are just supposed to assume, oh, by the way, that guy is Gandalf. Is that it? Ah, oh, that's just fucked up. And the Harfords. I mean, they look like hobbits. I'm like, why are they creating new things? Why? It just feels weird, right? Hobbits kind of feels like the center of the Lord of the Rings mythology because they kind of are. Everything kind of revolves around them. At least that's the feeling I got. So that's just like, okay, this is kind of like an offshoot they're trying to do. I don't know. But yeah, even, even hobbits are like not supposed to be like, even they are not that good, right? Like that's the feeling I got like uh, in the original movies, right? Like, uh, you know, baggings and everybody's just doing their thing and their, like, neighbors are kind of, like, weird and, like, nosy and, like, I remember some shit like that. Not really bad, but, yeah. So, in this scenario, they're like, okay, you know, for the uh, sake of the survival, we can't stop for you type of way. Because if we stop, people will kill us type of way. I guess it makes sense. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, they, they subverted everything possible uh. in it. Um, I'm surprised they didn't... Uh, have a gay story that'll probably be next season. I'm probably saving it for next season because you yeah. know Tol Tolkien dude. really down. <laughs> yeah, dude, they gotta, they gotta fucking eat some strawberries. To be fair, yeah. he, he was Catholic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the orc fuck the boy. Wow, that's really. Wow, that was. <laughs> you were very descriptive up until that point. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was short in one sentence. <laughs> like, huh. Oh. Oh, his brother was a Catholic priest, so one I of his. Yeah, 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 I love like if you guys have some like you have read Dune, Cody. You've read all the Dune series. Like, yeah. The world Tolkien built, especially with Samarilla. I hate. I did hate that Hobbit was three movies instead of one, and then Lord of the Rings, yeah. which is a book a piece, and they made a th like three hours per movie, and you're like, hey, this makes sense. Hobbit, like, let's stretch this bitch out. Let's Four hours if you see director one. I remember watching like, uh, what was it like 10, 12 years old? I don't even know that. But I was watching the original Lord of the Rings again trilogy and I was watching, watching, like, fuck me, why is time passing? So, why is so much time is happening? Like, pretty sure it started in the morning, it's like about to be evening, and I realized every single movie is like fucking four hours, director cut. So 12 hours trilogy. You could start in the morning and it will be nighttime before like you run out of all the movies. In original Lord of the Rings, I guess a lot of shit is happening, sure. Uh, well, in Hobbits, I guess you can segmentize like that and show there's like... I don't think there's like substance is same level of the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. Because in that, like, this is the journey element, right? I love about that movie is like how, uh, you know, like... Uh, they start to journey just like luscious and like greenish and all the place, right? Shire and things. Slowly and slowly starts to become darker. Then there is certain scenes that you see like 
red uh, clouds and things in the distance. Oh fuck me, that's the eye. That's the Mordor. It just starts to get closer and closer. It just becomes more grim and grim. Places becomes more grim. It's a 12 hour total movie. Trilogy. So there's a lot of time they can like show time passing and traveling. And by the end, you see those fucking, like, uh, big-ass eye and that, like, uh, you know, volcano. And graphics, man. That movie had insane graphics, especially for the time. It's like 2001 or something. 2001, 2003, and shit like that. So, everything around it, there was a lot of, like, you know, like, army shit was happening. Other stories are happening. But in Hobbit, I guess, Hobbit is just like, it's weird, isn't it? Just like Star Wars. The old, old Star Wars trilogy... The new trilogy kind of took same thing from that. Oh, again, there's a Death Star. Again, there is this and shit like that, right? So Hobbit was kind of like that. It also had Journey, but now we are going to the mountain uh, for the dwarves or whatever. And there's a and then there was a Smaug element. This movie revolved around it. In the end, there's like a massive battle, battle of three armies or whatever. But in substance wise, he's right. Maybe two movie, but three felt weird much as possible it it was it was money it was oh yeah, if yeah. You read, yeah. peter jackson got fucked taking over that one that's my favorite story is like after everything they paid him enough money to be like okay i'll do it after two directors i think at that point guillermo del toro got fired yeah he said Wait, he what? left but he del got toro? Fired. you oh, didn't know this del toro no. was gonna fucking direct yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was. He was that, very influential on the first one. You'll you'll see a lot of his stuff in the first one. Yeah, that was. That's why when we yeah, had I, dope orcs, like the actual uh, the the white orc, um, fuck, the pale orc, the pale orc. Yeah. Sorry, uh, pale orc. <laughs> the original costume design for that. I think it was like the pale orc. I mean, it's in the name, man. There was no CG. It was an actual dude in a costume like the original three, and it looked so good. Yeah, and they gangster. CG'd it. It was pretty terrible. Uh, dude, after oh, that. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot that, man. How terrible does that look? Look at that shit. What is this like? This feels like a video game, and that's that's not a compliment. Like, yeah, sure, video games are bigger now, but not all video games. You can't really compare a Hollywood budget with video game budget, right? Some games like Grand Theft Auto, and like, yeah, their budget is insane. But like most games, like, yeah, and this feels like some some video game. Like, look at this shit. What is this? Even the lighting feels weird, right? Like, what is it like? Instead of sun, they use what metro light, you know, like underground lighting or something. What the fuck is that? But the original guy was so awesome, man. Look at this shit. Look at how he looks, man. And this is the problem, right? Like CGI is great if done right. I believe, like, if you do CGI really, really well, like invest properly in it, you can have better output than even the props and things. But that's the thing, people don't do it. I understand CGI element of it, like the most reason they do that is this kind of props take way too long of a time. Drax, basically, Batista was saying like how it took like seven, eight hours just to like put on the makeup just for like 15 minutes of clips. If they do that for him and many people, before you know it, a year will go by and like you barely did like a month of shooting. That's not really productive, is it? So CGI can cut down. So fine, do CGI. But invest in CGI, man. It's like... You know, like billions of billions, that's how much this movie will make. They know that it's Lord of the Rings. You can invest in CGA. But even if you like make shit CGA and you do this, it's, you're just alienating people. So next movie will not make any money. People need to understand. People like take advantage a lot. Oh, it's Lord of the Rings movie. Of course, it's going to make money. We don't have to put that much in CGA. Yeah, it's going to make mo money now. But what about the next time? People are going to remember this shitty CGA. This is insane, man. Original. Th yeah, and they gangster. CG'd it. It was pretty terrible uh dude that, after that yeah del toro and i swear there's that one frame more. rate they ran too it was 48. like it was 48 frames yeah, everything per looks second. super choppy what? and weird it looked really weird um oh shit that actually does look dope <laughs> <laughs> yeah like yeah that's rad with so much the gray to... one it look and they have a full body too like him standing and it's gangster looking like yeah. way better god but, damn oh well okay that's fucking rad I would have watched it then, but then... Uh, when it's just like the fucking... I'm sorry, like Hollywood does this all the fucking time. Oh, yeah. Like, just with the, the reboot of The Thing or the, the prequel oh, yeah. to The Thing. bring that up. Where they fucking... They did everything practical effects just like the original movie. Like, the 1980s thing. They, they did, like, uh, just the super... Because that was, like, the, the pinnacle of practical effects. And the, the, it, like, they recorded the whole fucking movie with practical effects. They even had, I think it was, like, Tom Savini. Like, the real, yeah. like, OG dudes. And then the studio's like, nah, it looks too old school. Make everything CG. 
And so they CG'd over the practical effects. And they still in over the final and, cut. And that's what fucking kills me. And they have side by sides and you can see the practical and it looks so much better. And they're like, it was that weird part of like 2010 to 20 where they're like, hey, we need more CG. No, it needs yeah. to look more video game. And you're like, no, 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 no. It, 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 it like cool as fuck, dude. Yeah. And, uh, and it's led to the crap CG we have now. And, Look, man, here's the thing about CG, right? Let's not crap on CGI. CGI can be next level shit. It's the people that implement it not right, right? Look, man, original Avengers and all that, right? A phase one, whatever. CGI was good. Maybe not as good, but it was good. Then it become worse. And what I'm thinking about that is like being somewhat technical savvy, that uh, they probably came around with certain technology that made it easier to CGI, like cut off time. Time is everything. People don't understand in, in any business, let alone Hollywood, time is everything, right? So it's probably cut down time how fast they can do CGI. Like, oh, look at this, isn't that efficient? It's four times more efficient, time-saving. Yeah, but what about the quality impact? Is it gonna look same or worse? They didn't thought of that. And now all CG in today, like even today with like higher budget thing, it looks shit. Like, okay, I guess time matters was like, there should be like a cutoff. Like, okay, sure, this will take a bit more time, but there's a quality threshold I need to reach. Otherwise, it doesn't look more than a high budget. This is why people hate CGI and they like props. Like, and there should be like combination of both done in a such a way that it's just like next level quality. And people are like, oh, it's easier said than done. Yeah, that's the whole point. Hire the best of the best people. You are spending hundreds of million in a movie making billions. That money is not a joke. There is no excuse you can have at that point. No studio can have an excuse at that point. Hire the best or don't fucking do it. Don't make a movie. Who told you to make a movie if you can't do it? Oh, that's hard. So fucking what? And yeah, this all about, uh, you know, like, you know, rings of power and all that, like inclusion and all this shit is happening. That's the reason I even forgot that. But, but, you know, okay, you, you want to make something, create original or take from the original source. It's like, uh, you know, Mark Twain quote, right? Get your science right and then distort it at your leisure. That applies to everything. Get the source material right and then distort it a bit. You can actually send a good message, the message you want to send at, right? But if you just like, oh, fuck it, I don't care, like, like in Witcher, right? Series, you know, mother, the, the one with the actual elder blood, the main one, right? Who you think is going to be so white because that's who their whole ancestry is. That, you know, like, it's just like, who are they going to cast at? No, they cast at somebody who's like, a, you know, like, a, you know, black or African American descent or whatever, right? And this is like, that's not who they are. Siri, Siri is so white, her hair is white. Everyone around is just like really white. That's who they are. You can't just suddenly take somebody like, who has DNA is like 99.9% .9 white and just like suddenly cast somebody who's not that. That just feels wrong, right? It's just like breaking the fourth wall. It's just like, wait a minute, this is not right. How does that even work? If you do that, if you break the material like that, it's, it's just bad marketing technique. People like, just like roll their eye and walk away. You're not even spreading your message that way. You're just pissing people off. You're hurting your own message. Like, I don't understand this. It's like, is this stupidity or like, they just, they just like shove at you so much that one day you'll just accept and don't care. Is that what they're thinking? Because I don't know, man, like, like he said, like in the talking universe, there's all type of races. Pull from that. Make somebody from that, make that stronger and make your own story. I'm fine with that, right? It's, it's okay. But like, make somebody who's supposed to be a certain way because Tolkien wrote that person that way and suddenly flip them. Like, people are like, what is this? This is bullshit. People are not going to get your message, man. I don't understand this. Aragorn, right? Aragorn, that's the name, Aragorn. Like, Aragorn's like, oh, he's supposed to be this, like, uh, you know, I don't know, like, British looking guy, I don't know, like something like that. Long Yeah, I was yapping so much, even my mic shut down. So yeah, uh, so that was why the Rings of Power was a total failure, featuring Nudge Rotic. This is my channel and subscribe clips. I don't know, man, like this.
the depth of how craziness is going like it's like sometimes feels too unreal to me but then again i'm outside of that i don't know comment down like how real it is to you people how much you face this kind of craziness in your everyday life but yeah i'll see you next time